Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video we will discuss about the hydraulic coefficients of an orifice, so, let's move into the topic. When flow takes place through an orifice from the supply tank, the water jet leaving the orifice gets contracted at the downstream of the orifice, and the point where it gets the maximum contraction is called as vena contracta. There are three hydraulic coefficients of orifice, the coefficient of velocity, the coefficient of contraction, and, the coefficient of discharge. Let's start by discussing about coefficient of velocity. The coefficient of velocity is defined as the ratio between the actual velocity of a jet of liquid at vena contractu and the theoretical velocity of jet. It is denoted by CV, and mathematically, coefficient of velocity is given as, CV, equals to, actual velocity of jet at vena contracta, divided by theoretical velocity, which is again equal to, V, divided by, root over 2, G, H, where, V, represents the actual velocity, and, root over 2, G, H, represents the theoretical velocity. The value of CV, varies from 0.95 to 0.99 for different orifices, depending on the shape, size of the orifice and on the head under which flow takes place. Generally the value of CV, equals to 0.98 is taken for sharp-edged orifices. The second hydraulic coefficient is the coefficient of contraction. The coefficient of contraction is defined as the ratio of the area of the jet at vena contracte to the area of the orifice. It is denoted by CC. Let us consider, A, equals to area of orifice, and, A, C, equals to area of jet at vena contracta. Then, coefficient of contraction, CC, equals to, area of jet at vena contracta, divided by the area of orifice, which is again equal to, A, C, divided by A. The value of coefficient of contraction, CC, varies from 0.61 to 0.69 depending on shape and size of the orifice, and head of liquid under which flow takes place. In general, the value of coefficient of contraction, CC, may be taken 0.64. And finally, the third hydraulic coefficient is the coefficient of discharge. It is defined as the ratio of the actual discharge from an orifice to the theoretical discharge from the orifice. It is denoted by CD. If Q is actual discharge, and Q, T, H, is the theoretical discharge, then mathematically, the coefficient of discharge, CD, is given as CD equals to actual discharge Q divided by, theoretical discharge Q, T, H. Now, this actual discharge Q, is again equal to the product of actual velocity and actual area. And this theoretical discharge Q, T, H, is again equal to the product of theoretical velocity and theoretical area. This line of the equation can be also written as, actual velocity divided by theoretical velocity, which is the coefficient of velocity, CV as we discussed earlier, multiplied to, actual area divided by theoretical area, which is the coefficient of contraction, cc, as we discussed earlier. So, finally the equation stands as, the coefficient of discharge, cd, equals to, the product of coefficient of velocity, cv, and the coefficient of contraction, cc. The value of coefficient of discharge, cd, varies from 0.61 to 0.65, and, for general purpose the value of coefficient of discharge is taken as 0.62.